ओके आई हैव गॉट ओवर हियर सम ओकरा और व्हाट वी कॉल भिंडी ऑल लेडीज फिंगर्स दे वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट वेजिटेबल्स एंड व्हेन आई एम होम आई लव कुकिंग देम इन अ काइंड ऑफ टिपिकल साउथ इंडियन स्टाइल आई वांट टू स्टार्ट ऑफ बाय फ्राइंग आवर ओकरा इन जस्ट अ लाइट फिल्म ऑफ ऑयल a teaspoon or so of refined oil right so our oil is nice and smoking hot let's now fry up our okra i'm going to season them generously in the meantime let's get down to making our lovely masala now my pan is very very hot little more oil Okay, let's make a typical southern Indian base for our okra, right? Usually we start off with a nice bit of mustard seed, lovely rye. Then it's perennial partner, fenugreek or methi seeds. I want to let them fry up, pop and crackle, and in the meantime let's chop up garlic and some onions. so one onion julienne two cloves of garlic chopped fine a couple of nice fairly hot green chilies mustard seeds are popping and crackling away along with our garlic and our green chili the onions garlic chili they've softened right a very light little golden tinge on the onion now in goes our fried lady's finger let's start building flavor into our lovely southern style bhindi little bit of haldi a good generous teaspoon of hot red chili powder Just a teaspoon of coriander powder and a little bit of cumin powder, about half a teaspoon. Okra is now fully coated in the spices. What I want to do is add some water and just cook down our okra nicely. Little chhidkao, what we call of water, to create some steam. Lady's finger has been cooking away a good seven to eight minutes, right? in goes some tamarind extract okay nice and sour but a natural sourness and to balance it good all i need to do now is just simmer our okra for another couple of minutes just to amalgamate the flavors bring everything together and then it is done to finish off a lovely sweet and sour southern style bhindi some fresh herby dhaniya 